What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So in this video we're talking about 11. Why 11? Because there's one I just could not omit that I just got, that I just wore, and really like. And I was like, you know what? It deserves to be featured here today as well. So 11 fresh, affordable clone fragrances that I feel you should check out. I get asked about some fresh clones a lot. Especially lately, I've been getting asked a lot, so it's like I, can't, I need to do the video. So here we are, summer channel favorites, some are newer to the collection, some I haven't worn in a little while. But these are 11 specifically that I think are just great fresh clones for the spring and summer. Let's discuss. Stay tuned. Starting with the Versace Mano Fresh clone, that if you want longer lasting Mano Fresh, you should go after Armoff's Aura Fresh. I still believe in this one, guys. It's been a little while since I've reached for it. It is good stuff, though. You lose some of the brightness. It's not as loud of a projector as actual Versace Mano Fresh, but it smells one to one to me, and I get about eight hours of longevity out of this one. It's much more affordable than it used to be back when I did the full review on it. Citrus, musky, clean, watery, aquatic. Just super fresh, enjoyable, smells great. Everything you've come to know and love about Versace Mano Fresh, you get here in an Eau de Parfum version, basically. And it wears like an Eau de Parfum versus an Eau de Toilette, because the original is an Eau de Toilette. That's brighter, it's a louder fragrance. It you know kind of projects off the skin more, but doesn't last quite as long. I do get about two hours or so more longevity out of this, and it tones back the brightness in the opening just a little bit. But the scent profile, Armoff did a great job. They knocked it down here. Again, that's from Armoff. This is Aura Fresh. One that my wife's actually a very big fan of from Rayon Tradition. This is their version of Creed Aventus Cologne. This is Insurrection Pure Sport. And uh, yeah, very much has that pink pepper, orange, citrus, and vetiver type of smell going. A little bit of spice. Very fresh overall. I wouldn't call it one-to-one. -one. Damn, it does smell good. Uh, I wouldn't call it one-to-one -one with Aventus Cologne, but... It's close to Aventus Cologne, I gotta say. Um, I haven't smelled any other Aventus Cologne clones out there, and I don't really feel like I need to because they did a really good job here. Uh, there was a stretch when I first got it that that's where that little bit of a dent comes from. I did wear it several times, um, and I need to reach for it again. I mean, honestly, I might have to just wear it out the shower this evening, actually, because the little spray in the air, boy, is smelling pretty good. Average performer, nothing crazy good, kind of in that five, six, seven hour range in longevity for me. Nothing really long lasting, nothing super weak either, kind of average stuff where if you're going to have a longer day than five or six hours, you might want to keep it with you or keep a decant and refresh, but some good stuff. You don't hear much about Rayon Tradition these days, but this is a damn good fragrance. Smells like a Ventus Cologne. This is Rayon Tradition, pure sport. Probably my favorite clone for its accuracy and wearability. This is from Fragrance World. This is F Le Parfum. Regulars on the channel have heard me speak very highly, very often about this fragrance because it's about as close as you could expect a fragrance to be to Y Le Parfum. The only difference here is a little bit spicier with the ginger in the top and the dry down's a little bit creamier with the musky and woody, woodsy tone. But overall, same aldehydic citrus smell at the top beautiful i mean i'd be surprised if you could tell me the difference out in the air between this and wild parfum wild parfum being my favorite version of the Y dna fragrance world definitely nailed it and 60 ml bottles are still like in that 75 to 85 dollar range or you could get this for around 30 and it's the same fragrance it performs kind of what and what six to eight hour range um smells pretty much the same the quality is pretty much the same because the Y line, it's I mean it's a bunch of designer synthetics. It smells the same. So for around 30 bucks, you could just go with F Le Parfum from Fragrance World. So with this next one, I just happen to have the mini bottle handy. This is Zerjoff's Herba Pura, my little mini 15 ml bottle. And Armoff did a really good job with Club de Nuit Oud. So the oud note here is a dry woody smell. That's the difference versus this. It's the similar fruity, soapy citric smell, super fresh, inviting, easy wear, perfectly unisex. Some would say lean's a little feminine. I totally get it. They did a good job here. It's a slight tweak and a slight twist because it's got this dry wood, slight powdery tone that you don't really get from Herbapura. 
you get here, it's a great performer. I think spring, summertime, this will work totally fine. Great performance on this one. Very long lasting, very bright early on. And I would say it's more of an twist on Herbapura. It's not one to one. I would call it like 80% because of that, you know, dry wood oud being a major twist, but still smells like Herbapura. Armoff did a great job with this one. It's Club de Nuit oud. The reason I'll never buy Afternoon Swim from Louis Vuitton because it's a, not a big enough difference in drop off in quality versus Paris Corners North Stag Quattro. This fragrance makes me so happy. Bright, fresh, watery orange. I can't wait to spray this. It's gonna be so good. This is the best of the bunch. And they have all four of these are good. They have two Louis Vuitton clones, this being Afternoon Swim, the other one being Imagination, Bulgari Tigar clone, a Parfums de Molly clone. All four fragrances in this line are splendid. I've done full reviews on all of them. I did an unboxing haul. I keep wearing them. I keep talking about them because I really do enjoy them. I don't wear clones all the time, especially if I have the originals. But certain instances, they're just great wears. And that's what this is. This is just a great wear if you want something super you know, vibrant, bright, and one of the freshest fragrances I've ever sprayed and smelled. And it's definitely on the longer lasting side because it's loaded down with synthetics. But then again, Afternoon Swim isn't the most natural photorealistic smelling musk orange combo, but it is a little higher quality than the clone, but this is much more affordable. Fraction of the cost. I mean fraction because Louis Vuitton fragrances are expensive. And this is fantastic. I continue to give it the stamp of approval because I love it. I love wearing this myself. It's Norstag Expressions Quattro from Paris Corner. I felt it only right to just make the turn on the pile of fragrances here with Paris Corner's Norstag uh, number one. This is the Tigar clone. This is my second favorite. Um, I like this more than Tarathi Blue. Every time I talk about it, people ask, this or Tarathi Blue? Tarathi Blue is phenomenal. Afnan did a great job. If you have that, you do not need this. As redundant as it gets. The difference I find with this is I get more Ambroxan and Spice versus Tarathi Blue, whereas I get more Juicy Citrus out of Tarathi Blue. So it depends on your taste and what your preference is. But for me, I slightly prefer this one. So I don't know. I, I, you know, Tigar is on my bucket list to get in 2024. It's very expensive. But this might continue to push that process back because it's so good. I mean, it is so good performance is great on this one too i do have some olfactive fatigue my nose wears out pretty quickly i would say within the hour uh, but it does come back to life a few hours later and it smells like i just sprayed it because the ambroxan does its job here if you don't like ambroxan you're going to want to steer clear of this one but if you want what i believe to be a phenomenal tiger clone citrus spice woods and ambroxan here you go paris corners north stag expressions uh. Now there's a lot of really good Silver Mountain Water clones out there, and this one continues to grow on me. The quality here is just really good. That's what kind of keeps drawing me back to it. This is Afnan's Supremacy in Heaven. You get the herbal tea note, you get the fresh metallic citrus, little inky from the black currant. You get all of those things, that nice musky tone. You get all of the beautiful things about Silver Mountain Water, fraction of the cost. I mean, it's not spot on one-to-one, -one, but it's really close. It's a slight twist. I would call it like 90%. If you like Silver Mountain Water, I can't imagine you not liking this. And the bottle's gorgeous. I always like the bottles in the Supremacy line, but you have this like powdered sky blue to silver gradients. I think it's the best looking color combo of the bunch. I'm also very partial to blue and all of its shades. I mean, this is even lighter than a baby blue, like a Carolina blue, university blue, all the different ways you can say North Carolina blue. It's lighter than that, but still beautiful. Beautiful bottle, beautiful smelling fragrance. Great performer in that eight hour range. Not a monster, but definitely well above average. Is it the end all be all for Silver Mountain Water Clones? No, there's a ton of great ones out there, but it's just my personal preference these days is definitely this one. That's why we're discussing it and I'm recommending it. It's Afnan. Supremacy in Heaven. It'd be nice if it would focus. It's just so, there we go. It's just so heavily reflective. You know, this one does the trick for me. It makes me happy just to smell it. I don't need Ball de Freak from Byredo because Vibrant Vetiver Delight from Paris Corner is just that. It is an absolute delight. This smells like Sprite and 7-Up, just lemon lime soda. And it's not lime, it's bergamot. 
It's got a little bit of zest. The vetiver here is just fresh and woodsy. There's no earthy tones. It's a beautiful unisex, vibrant, and citric fragrance. Really, really good stuff. This is one of my favorites from Paris Corner. The color of the bottle, it's pretty much the way this smells. Just happens to match my hat, I just noticed. Um, this is beautiful. Lemon lime soda in a bottle. Why would you want to smell like Sprite, Ross? I don't know. Spray it on and smell it and you'll be like, oh, that's why he likes it. It's beautiful. It's one of the better fresh citrus fragrances I've ever smelled. And it just so happens to be a clone from Paris Corner. He did a great job. Beautiful for the spring, beautiful for the summer, average to above average performance, lemon lime soda. It's Paris Corner Vibrant Vetiver Delight. Now we have another Louis Vuitton clone here that's from Alexandria Fragrances because of the versions of Le Mincite that I have tried, I think the best one, definitely the richest one, has been Alexandria's version called Le Mincite. Get that to focus. It'll, it should focus now when I do that. There we go. Well, it was for a second. There we go. Lemensity. This is a 60 ml. So this is very juicy citrus. Let me get that to come back. Here we go. Focus is back. Juicy citrus. A little spice going on here. Beautiful. Beautiful fragrance. So juicy with the citrus, almost like a sweet citrus, and I think it's because the oil concentration is just so high with this one. You don't lose the freshness. It doesn't wear too close to the skin. It still projects really heavy. If you've ever smelled the Mincite from Louis Vuitton, there's a ton of great inspiration in clones out there. There's a bunch. A lot of people have their version of it. But this has always been the best one to my taste in particular. Uh, so if and when I get in the mood for it, this is the one I would recommend. This is the one that I would reach for. And it's been a little while since I've reached for it, admittedly. But smell that juicy citrus and spice. I believe it's ginger that's in here as well. It is absolutely gorgeous. This is Alexandria Fragrances Lemensity. Now, it's no secret that I'm a fan of Cidrat Boise. So what if I told you there's a fresher version? There's Paris Corners, Cidrat Essence. Cidrat Essence literally amps up the citrus, tones back the fruits, ramps up the muskiness, and tones back the woods and leather. That's basically the way I interpret it. It's like Cidrat Boise au fresh in many ways because it is a fresher take. Not quite like Mincera Wild Fruits because some of you have maybe heard, heard me say that about Wild Fruits. Not quite the exact same scent profile, but mm, kind of in the same vein, honestly. This is good stuff. This is really good stuff. Honestly, of the essence fragrances that they have, because they have the Red Tobacco clone, they have the Instant Crush clone, as well as the Tonka Cola clone, this is my favorite one. Cidrat Boise just happens to be my favorite Mancera. So, of course, Paris Corners clone with their little pile of Mancera clones. This is definitely my favorite one. Now, admit, admittedly, there's a trade-off here. It's like 80, 85%. It's not spot on because of those nuance changes as I discussed. So honestly, this is even better for the summertime than actual Cidrat Boise is. And it's in, right in that average performance range, around five or six hours. It is Paris Corners Cidrat Essence. And last but not least, this is the reason it had to be 11. I wore it last night. I'm debating on wearing it again tonight. Uh, beautiful, happy, vibrant, uplifting fragrance. Really makes me happy to smell this one. I just got it. This is another one from Paris Corner. This is called Pear Potion. This just came out recently. And uh, it's a little spiced, juicy pear. There's some other fruitiness going on here, a little bit of florals. It's really good. It's really, really good, too. I mean, a little on the tropical summery side. Not as tropical as something like Mango Punch, which I haven't started spending time with yet. But they're both amazing. I would encourage try try to get a sample some kind of way. I don't know how easy that would be because... I haven't seen any samples available anywhere. Somebody would have to be decanting bottles, I would think. But if you're going in blindly, obviously that's risky business. Make sure you kind of know what you're getting into here. So for me, it's a juicy pear. There's some other sweet fruits, but it's got this spicy zest and a floral, clean, musky tone that kind of makes this one lean perfectly unisex, whereas Mango Punch has a little bit more of a feminine lean because it's a little bit heavier on the florals, but this one, maybe not quite as much. It's fruity without being too sweet. Beautiful fragrance. So far, it seems to have average performance around six hours. 
through my first wearing, but I just I had to feature it. It was too good not to. It's Pear Potion from Paris Corner. Well, that's the 11 that I have for you today. And until next time, do me a quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. So I do appreciate all the feedback, and I love hearing from you guys. Of these 11, what are you familiar with? What have you tried? Or which of these maybe sparked your interest that maybe you want to look into? I'll try to have links down below for everything for anybody that maybe wants to check them out. Until next time, I will say if you get your hands on any of the 11 that I featured in this video and you give them a spray now, you might end up thanking me later. Who knows? Have a good one, guys.